up, No Horse and Family. Welcome back to an episode of the No Horse and Ground podcast. As always, I am one of two dudes talking Colts. I am one of your hosts, Stephen Burton. And as always, it feels a little weird saying this today, especially the topic of this. We are brought to you by our amazing sponsor, WagerWire. WagerWire is a once-in-a-lifetime revolutionary sports betting app, in and out of bets, in and out of parlays. Like I said, it feels a little weird with the topic because massive news breaks today, right? Just going about my day, just enjoying my day. When news hits, you know, when you get the... That breaking news, and you find out that the NFL is actively investigating somebody on the Colts. At the time of the first report, there were no names, um, but the, the NFL is actively investigating a member of the Colts for placing bets, an abnormal amount of bets, is kind of what we've read, right? On the NFL, as well as, and this is the big news, right? As well as placing bets on the Colts themselves. I mean, it's like a, it's like a boom, right? Um, and then as the day goes on, we kind of get a little bit of leakage from Horseshoe Huddle with, with Destin, uh, Destin Adams kind of putting out there that what he had been kind of, he was waiting really for confirmation, but what he had been kind of told was it wasn't, a star player because there was rumors going everywhere at one point. You know, I had heard Michael Pittman Jr. I had we had heard EJ Speed, um, and then it kind of was like it's not a star player, but it's a player that the Colts fans will know who exactly who he is, right? And then you had this um, cryptic tweet from Destin come out that said, you know, this was a guy. If it, if it was true, this was a guy that was expected to do big things this year. And obviously that's not going to happen, right? So then finally, a couple hours ago, it comes out. It The name that was being leaked was Isaiah Rogers Sr., cornerback for the Colts. Um, a lot of us were expecting really big things. I think even last year going into last season, I said I thought he would get the most interceptions on the team. Um, we called a lot for him to play last year because he wasn't, he was stuck behind phase on and we were like, man, this is the guy. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here on the platform that we have and disparage him. He made a seems to be a horrific mistake. Um, if he bet on games, that is one thing, right? We've seen that Jameson Williams this year. We saw Calvin Ridley last year. Um, that is one thing. The precedent seems to have been set. Calvin Ridley bet on NFL games. Jameson Williams, I believe, bet on baseball game, baseball games. Jameson got like six games. Calvin got the year, right? Rogers bet on NFL games. I'd be stunned if he doesn't get a year, um, at the minimum. The, the big glaring thing is the fact that the report has said that he bet on Colts games as a member of the Colts, um, knowing who he is too, as an active member, he was in most of those games. Like very rarely, even though we wanted to see him play more, very rarely did we not see him play in a game or be active unless he was hurt. That is what is the potential for the career altering bad decision, right? If you bet on your team that you are playing for, win, lose, like it or not, think it was an immature thing or not, it looks you have the ability to really impact that game. You do. Blown coverage here or there. Um, and it looks bad, you know. It, the NFL is so tied in with betting and with gambling with FanDuel and DraftKings. Um, wager wire is our sponsor. We love wager wire, but it is so tight in that that has always been a huge concern is what if these players do this, you know, and they, and they have these weird rules sometimes of like, like you can place bets on other sports, but not do it while you're in the team facility. All that kind of goes out the window when 
you hear things like an abnormal amount, a lot of bets, and then you hear that he bet on his home team. I don't think, you know, I was talking to Zach. Zach is out this week, so you guys would just be stuck with me, but I was talking to Zach about it tonight, and I wouldn't be stunned to see the Colts cut him at this point. Um I don't think we see him in a Colts uniform this season. I don't think we see him in a Colts uniform again. I think that there's a really real possibility you don't see him for a while, if at all. I think he's going to get a minimum of a year. Um, and he could get the Pete Rose kind of treatment, right? I mean, Pete Rose denied betting on his own team. Everyone kind of figured he did. This is what's being reported. It sucks that it's our team. It sucks that it's a player that we expected high things of. Hopefully, you know, it's not a career ender for him. I think he's a very talented player, and he made a really big mistake. Um, but, yeah, man, I mean, it, it was huge news for the Colts, right? Huge news because if they do cut him, that's a hole that you're going to have to fill now. So what are they going to do? I think they put out some moves um, – about some corners that are out there that they could possibly go after if they do move on from him. Y'all let me know. Drop it in the comments. How long, like, how do you feel as a Colts fan that this is involving your team? One. Two, how do you feel, like, what do you think? What do you think suspension-wise? Do you think he's going to play for the Colts? Do you think they're going to cut him? Um, I want to hear from you guys. Like, I want to know if I'm off base, if I think he's going to get cut by the Colts. If I think that he's not going to see the field this year. Like I said, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you feel about this. Are are you embarrassed? Do you feel bad for him? Uh, As always, you guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, ding the bell, join the family, all those great things. Um, And we in these things the same way we always do, man. I love you. I know that I love you. I know that Zach loves you. I'm out.